San Francisco is a growing, vibrant community of 837,000. A city with a colorful past and a rich, diverse culture. With an abundance of natural beauty and unique architecture, the prosperous Bay Area continues to draw people from across the region and beyond. All of this growth has placed added demands on the electrical infrastructure of the city of San Francisco, requiring major upgrades for the regional electrical utilities serving the community. Critical redundancies were badly needed for the grid to better survive a major earthquake. The fast pace that is San Francisco, along with the Bay Area's demanding environmental standards, led the utility and their construction management team at Black & Veatch to choose the HDD company for the horizontal directional drilling portion of the project. The Embarcadero Portrero Transmission Project is a large complex undertaking involving the installation of six underground power and communication lines stretching for a total of 3.5 miles. Cable for two and a half miles of the project is buried beneath the seafloor of San Francisco Bay. 0.4 miles where the submarine cable transitions offshore to onshore was drilled by the HDD company and installed in conduit. HDD Company also drilled 0.6 mile segments under the streets of industrial South San Francisco and into busy downtown near the Bay Bridge. The San Francisco project presented a number of daunting challenges. In addition to rigid budget, time and permitting requirements, the HDD Company needed to meet the highest environmental standards in protecting the Bay's water, air and fishery resources. The marine environment presented additional challenges, including difficult weather, strong tidal currents, and extremely limited visibility for the cruise divers. We can only dive uh, slack tides as it, uh, we got some pretty, pretty bad current out here. Our swell's coming in. He said it's going to get pretty choppy. Okay, Roger, then we're standing by. The north side, we've got 85 feet of water. Each diver, if you do it no decompression limits, has got uh, 29 minutes. Many challenges on this project, uh, the environmental being one of them. There's seven different agencies involved, Bay Area Conservation District, uh, the Fish and Wildlife, and the Army Corps of Engineers. Actually, so far, I believe that HDD has done a, a, a very, very good job with all the monitoring that we've had and all the inspectors watching them, which is very difficult when you're kind of in a fishbowl and, and everybody's watching you from the outside and you've got so many people trying to second guess what you're doing. I got an excellent crew, these guys. Uh, these guys have been hard at it since uh, November. Uh, we've had no loss incidents on this project. Well, it takes uh, a certain type of guys. Uh, this morning our day started at a little, a little after 4.30, 5 o'clock, uh, and it'll probably go until uh, 10, 11 o'clock this evening. All of these factors made an unrelenting commitment to worker safety all the more essential. The HDD team was equal to the challenge. Horizontal directional drilling was really the only method of installing the onshore to offshore transitional segments that would meet the reliability goals of the utility and assure navigational safety in the city of San Francisco. Open trenching would have necessitated the shutting down of the light rail and surface traffic along the busy Embarcadero, an unthinkable option. HDD's precision drilling under the streets of San Francisco reduced install time and avoided contact with a myriad of other city infrastructure hazards that are common with conventional excavation methods. Skill and extraordinary teamwork resulted in completion of the San Francisco project on time, on budget, and in an exceptionally safe manner and with no negative environmental outcomes. The biggest environmental concern on this project was fracking out. In fact, an independent environmental engineering firm predicted that, based on the project design and the local geology, a frack out was almost certain. The escape of hundreds of gallons of mud onto the Embarcadero, light rail line, or out in the bay would have caused severe problems for the client and for the city. The fact that there was not a single frack out on any of the six bores is an impressive achievement and a testimony to the care and skill exercised by the HDD company. I was really impressed with HDD on the fact that we were told that we would frack out on these and that was no question to it that it was going to happen and it never did. I believe that HDD is, is, 
is very confident in what they do and how they do it. And I was really happy the fact that they did not frack out at all. The HDD company that has executed this and flawlessly, less than 1% of all horizontal directional drills are ever within the water work as far as a water outfall. Uh, this specialty shows that HDD company is more than capable of doing it and they do it uh, in a professional way, in a manner that basically uh, separates them from uh, most other contractors. Life is good in the city by the bay. Visitors, daily business, and the environmental resources of the bay area experienced negligible effects during the construction. The new power and communications infrastructure installed with the help of the HDD company will do its part in assuring a bright and healthy future for the city for many years to come.